you've said in the past, every movie that was coming out, whether it was Colors, whether it was Boys in the Hood, painted the hood out to be this menacing, dark place. And that, from what I understand, that was the reason why you got the confidence and the idea and the creative behind writing Friday. Yeah, because if you live in the hood, you laughing all the time. Yeah. So you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> if this is supposed to be such a dark place, why are we laughing to our side hurt? Because you realize it's, it's just as much comedy in the hood as it is tragedy. Mm. And, and people should see how much fun we had growing up too and not just oh my god you know everything is terrible like everything is unpredictable you don't know when it's gonna pop off but every day is not you know hell so that's what we wanted to portray in friday like how much fun we have with this crazy life we're dealing with you know when did you make the jump from being this like hardcore hip hop dude to a comedy guy or 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 or, or doing the family films cuz i remember that was that was fascinating to watch you know right growing up i mean you had this prolific hip hop career and and i mean you're ice cube you know you're fucking yeah. hard motherfucker and then you come out in these family movies and it was such a it was such an amazing duality to watch but did you have to swallow a pill or, or or maybe check something in you because you were afraid people were gonna not maybe take you as serious anymore if you're doing you know comedy and making jokes. Um, no, nah, no. Nah. You know, at the time, you know, we had did Friday, which made people feel the same way. Like, man, you hardcore. How you gonna do a movie like mm -hmm. Friday? Yeah. So, but that was R rated, and then and then we did we did Barbershop, yeah. which was like PG-13. So we was like, okay, we can make them laugh in, in R-rated. We can make them laugh in a PG-13. Can we make them laugh in a PG? PG, yeah. Just, can you? Can we get the kids? Because I had five-year-olds running up to me saying, Craig, smoking. I'm like, damn, you need a little movie for your little ass. You don't need to be watching yeah. Craig and Smoking. Felicia. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I realized my my audience had kids. So I'm like, okay, this is a way to stay in the family without 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 pops having to say, Ice Cube, man, he used to be, boy, Ice Cube <laughs> used to be the shit. Yeah. Like, you do a movie for the kids, now they know you the man. And the thing about it, these movies live forever. So whenever somebody has a kid, they're looking for something cool for them to watch. And it's like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Next thing you know, these kids is 16, 17, 21, 22, 25. And they've been loving you since they was four. Mm. So you still stay relevant. Yeah, for so sure. So it's a way to, to almost recycle your fans and make sure <laughs> That you're always getting new fans you made growing a, up, loving. For sure, he made a business you. decision. It was like it's like the equivalent of a YouTuber starting a family channel. You know what I'm saying? No, like, no, no. no. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll make like a, a personal relation to this. Like I, I solely started TikTok because I knew how young the demo was, yeah. and, and and as a person in this space, like I hate ever like relying on relevancy. Yeah, like to 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 make me feel like I'm I'm doing something important but at the end of the day like what we do you know it's it's if we want to drive the or move the needle it is important to stay relevant right and so it's, I mean it's important to stay interesting bingo yep totally you know Captain what I'm saying I, I like that word better yep like relevant makes it seem like you'll do anything just to, to to get some attention yep. but you know when they see you if you're interesting you should be all right. Hey there, if you like the clip, make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right.